It's going to go deep to the square. Someone's got to take the mark. Oh, that is a great piece of thinking from Jamie Cripps. The Eagles are back down to eight points. Are they a shot? All right, g'day guys. Welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel to this official AFL Evolution 2 career mode with the West Coast Eagles. And today we are taking on the Geelong Cats in our biggest game of the season so far in a packed out Optus Stadium. Still without Josh Kennedy, I'm afraid. He's, it's said his injury was only one week, but he's still on the sideline. But Jack Redden comes into the side as does Will Schofield to shore up my height in my back line into the Cats. Obviously, finished top of the ladder in the 2019 season. Bowed out in a prelim. They're absolutely one of the best teams in the competition. And they usually hold no fears about traveling west uh, to play other Perth teams. Now I think about it, I think they're 0 from 2 at Optus Stadium. Don't think they've won there yet. But nonetheless, this is a hugely challenging game. They were a very, very good outfit. And without Josh Kennedy, again, this is going to be a reasonable test. Now, I'm still going with the senior difficulty at the moment. I've upped the opposition sliders so that they have uh, they can keep more accurate for goal. I think this will be a good test, but if I'm too far in front, I will adjust it at halftime. We'll see how we go. I'm starting with the loose man in defense again. Liam Duggan is taking that role, and I think we are just about primed for an absolute belter after narrowly escaping the loss against St. Kilda. They came hard. They kicked three goals to start the final term and hit the front. Um, and obviously we kicked away after that. So I'm expecting a tougher opposition today in the Geelong Cats. Let's get into it. Surely I can hit up this target here. Oh, I've hit the wrong button. And that is a poor defensive turnover by me. And Geelong make me pay. I was trying to... <laughs> it's so stupid. I was trying to... Uh, just do a, a targeted shot, and it actually kicked it as a um, as a stab pass. Ooh, a bit of a shank inside 50, but can he take the grab? Yes. Jamie Cripps has had a good start of the season so far. He's bobbed up on occasion to bag some goals. He's uh, He's been pretty good overhead in the forward 50 this season so far. And the Eagles tie it up with their first goal of the game through Cripps. And it is back to level pegging. Well, Schofield is noticeably slower than his opponents and that burns. That hurts. So Geelong, clearly the better team so far in this contest. And uh, I've started every game poorly from memory. It's taken me a while to warm up as Dangerfield nails the goal. Back in the middle. Yes, straight out of the centre. Well done, Shui to Ryan. And this should be an easy shot on goal. The Eagles with the immediate response, and we're back to six points. We're back in the middle to resume play. Natanui got in the better position. Redden gets the loose ball. Yes, great response from the Eagles. Two immediate clearances in a row, this time from Redden. Off the back of Nat Nui, and Darling should make no mistake. Is he a bit close to the post? He isn't. And we're back all even, 19 apiece in what has been a very, very interesting first term. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Darling's on his own. Nat Nui surely finds someone here. And Archie has kicked it. To... Oh, I think that was going through for a goal. I better not miss that. That should have definitely been a goal every day of the week. I hope that doesn't cost me, and it won't. Archie has been brilliant there so far this season. He's been dominating as a sort of high far forward midfield rotation, pretty much. Oh no! Take a mark. Oh what? With the steal. I don't know how he got the ball there, but uh, Blake Schlong has kicked a goal. 25 apiece. This is brilliant Saturday night footy. Schlensog. I've literally never heard of that player. Nick Nat Nui, he's got an opportunity here. Oh, it's a bad handball. It is a very bad handball. And Shui should make them pay. And he has with a very good goal. Some sloppy play 
from these Eagles, but we're six points in front. It is going goal for goal here at Optus Stadium. What an amazing game this is turning out to be. Shui runs into an open goal. I didn't see his boot hit the ball, but I assume he didn't handball it, so we'll count it. Yes, Nat Nui's been an absolute live wire so far from the center. Been crucial in a lot of of our forward entries and this could be another goal through Archie and that should have the legs I reckon it has and the Eagles are now 12 points ahead and yo from the center or well, not from the center but from the the clearance basically from the throw and has kicked a goal and it is seven goals to four in this term the Eagles are starting to gain some genuine ascendancy it's been a hugely high scoring first term Oh, he streamed through and kicked a goal under pressure. How has he done that? Well done. Good spoil there from Sheed. He's created an opportunity and he kicked the goal. <laughs> Brilliant. That was a bit of a blind kick from Sheed, but it's gone straight through the middle. And thrashes it. Is in his possession. Archie with the quick snap out of, and it has crossed the line. We might go to a score review there. I know they don't actually exist, but that was a great uh, sort of crumb and goal from our cheers. We watched the replay here. Tap down from Allen, from Shuey, the handball, the quick pickup, and quick thinking to snap it onto his boot. Very, very fortuitous there. 50, and Parsons is now lining up for a quick reply. It is a free flowing game here. You can see this going pretty high scoring. And he has nailed the goal, and we're back to 18 points here at Optus Stadium. Oh, he's taken it. How's he done that? Completely out of position. A great grab from Cockatoo. And they'll line it up to make it just 12 points once again. And straight through the middle. So it's an accurate game from both sides today. Hearn from the ruck. With the quick reply, and the Eagles have always had a response so far today. And that is why this will probably put them 18 points back in front. And Archie kicks another. Is that his second or third? I think it's his third. And he's putting together a very good season. In fact, it's his fourth. And he's kicked it straight through the middle. That's it for the first half. And that is half time in what has been an exciting half with the Eagles being two goals up probably deservedly based on the form that both sides have been really accurate. The Eagles have had more inside 50s and generally just been slightly better. That is going to go close. It's a great kick. Can someone take a grab? They can. Tommy Cole. The last person you'd expect can kick his first goal of the season. By f it should easily be his first goal. Oh, he's gotten closer than it should have been. The Eagles are back out to 19 points. Oh, gap went far from where he needed to be. Oh, good grab there from, is it Parfit? Probably should have been spoiled there. Okay, spoiling is getting a little bit harder on the higher difficulty as Gary Rowan lines up. For an important goal for the Cats. They can't miss this. And he hasn't. Oh, and here we go. Geelong with all the momentum so far. This term. Lining up to make it a mere seven points. And he has kicked it. And they've been very accurate today. Just ten goals won. No. And scores are about to be level. They haven't missed much since I adjusted the settings. I don't think I adjusted them too much. They've just been deadly accurate in this game so far. And Parsons has given me an absolute bath today. And the scores are level here at Optus Stadium. This is a thrilling third quarter. The Cats are taking it right up to these undefeated Eagles. Good tackle by Yoey. Oscar Allen with the important opportunity here. Oh, no. Oh, Petrocelli's plucked it. How's he done that? She had no right to mark that ball. He's done well in a deep forward position. 
What? Okay. Fair enough. Maybe maybe that's considered a shank. I thought I got that decently. Holding the ball, Tim Kelly. He's having a big quarter here for his new club. We're going to stop saying that. But this is an opportunity for him to give his side back the momentum. And that is a beautiful kick against his old side. He's really turning it up, Kelly. And the Eagles back out to a seven-point margin. This is a hugely important game in the context of this season. Come the end of the season, this is going to be looked at as an eight-point game. So, Geelong, could they get the quick response here? Shepard does well in the air. Oh, no. He's run into an open goal and missed. Ooh. And there it is, three-quarter time. Six points here, guys, and we have got an absolute thriller on our hands. Two teams throwing everything at this game, knowing how important it is in the context of the season. Geelong really caught up that quarter, dominating the term. Luke Shuey held to zero touches in that term, and the, the Geelong Cats won that, uh, won that quarter by seven points, actually. Oh, come on, there's clearly a player there. That is fucked. That is lame. You can't pass it to who you want to. He's just centered the ball randomly. And the Cats have a chance to hit the front here. I feel a little aggrieved by that. That was a bit rough. But here we go. There we go. The Cats are in front. Can the Eagles respond in a similar way to how they responded against the Saints just seven days ago at Marvel Stadium? They had to come from behind to win. They're going to have to do the same thing today. Dangerfield wins the tap. The clearance, rather. And they are going to run into an open goal. No, that's a good tackle. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's run over the line. <laughs> Cocker too, with a clanger. That was a shocker. Gee, I don't know why they're always running in the wrong direction. That shouldn't be a goal. Oh, it is too. I thought he, I thought he was uh, tackled and let it slip. There we go. Eight points. The cat's starting to run away with it. Oh, okay. That's going to be a goal, isn't it? That is depressing. The Cats have one hand on this game through an awful clangor by me. I don't know why the ball went backwards like that. I can only myself to blame. And we could be on the cusp of our first loss here. Gonna go deep to the square. Someone's gotta take the mark. Oh, that is a great piece of thinking from Jamie Cripps. The Eagles are back down to eight points. Are they a shot? Here we go. An opportunity for the Eagles. Every kick counts now. Oh, he's missed Petricelli. <laughs> Damn, if I'd just taken a second. Six minutes to go, seven points to the margin. Both teams kicked very accurate today, and that is why it's high scoring. Although Blitzarves has had a brain fart, and suddenly the Eagles have a chance. I have no idea how to kick an actual snap, though. That's the only thing. I legit don't know how to do this. Yeah, evidently. Sure, he's got to kick this. Oh, he's, he's been dragged down. And that is holding the ball every day of the week. Yes, Jarling. This is a crucial. I can't keep messing up opportunities to win the game. He's got to put this through. And this should be one point the margin it is. Come on, Eagles. Four minutes, 47 remaining. This is an absolute thriller here at Optus Stadium. We could be on the verge of our first loss of the season. Here we go. Here's an opportunity for Luke Ryan. Liam Ryan. My God. Freudian slip there. That is a great grab. I ruined that moment with accidentally calling him Luke Ryan. But this would make it one point the margin if I miss. What am I talking about? I need to just focus on kicking the goal. And he has kicked it. The Eagles are in front by four points with two minutes and 35 remaining. What an absolute belter of a game. This far surpasses last week's classic match. Kind of. Wasn't really a classic match. 
but it was a good contest. And the Cats could actually still pinch this. Oh no, that is all. I uh, just have myself to blame there. Poor defence from Shannon Hearn. Got a bit, got a bit excited with that one. That is going to go close, but miss. And now I have a minute 45 remaining. Three points of the margin. It's got to let me choose someone. At the moment, it just is. Oh, Dangerfield, the, just the man you don't want getting the ball. With a minute and 10 remaining, he's taken a screamer. Shannon Herman with the big clearance. Petrocelli's huge there. Oh, 44 seconds remaining, guys. I need to kill this contest. I need to get the ball forward. And that is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Holding the ball, Oscar Allen, the hero, with 28 seconds to go. What can he do with this? Is he going to waste time? He is. I might just have to go long. That should be all the time remaining. And that is the end of a classic Saturday night here at Optus Stadium. The Eagles celebrate like they know that it's going to be a crucial win in the context of the season. Three points, despite last, like last week, we conceded the lead. We got it back again, much like the round three game, I think it was, West Coast and Geelong, two years previous, where the Cats fought back, I remember the game well, hit the lead, and the Eagles returned just in the dying minutes to win the game. And that's what's happened again today in a very even contest. By far the most even game we've played so far today. We smashed them in hitouts. We got the better of them in inside 50s. Uh, we had less clangers, definitely less marks. Tackles pretty much even. And we got better of the free kick count by, by a long way by the looks. Let's look at the man of the match. It looks like it's Jed Buse for them playing in defense. Brendan Archie kicked four goals for us would feel very stiff not to get the three votes in a winning performance. So like always, guys, I will show you the fixture before the episode ends. We're actually second on the ladder, and would you believe it? The Fremantle Dockers sit third after three rounds. Brisbane, of course, played one extra game and sit top of the ladder. And now we go to the Adelaide Oval next week to take on the pair. And that should be an interesting game to say the least. The Eagles are actually undefeated at Adelaide Oval against the Port Adelaide Club. Football club, rather. And hopefully we can keep that streak alive. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in to this Belter of a Football game. Hope to see you join us for the next episode. Cheers.